hyperthyroidism. So you're going to go against what I'm saying and say, you know what, I know you're saying hypothyroidism, but initially, when you're going to go destroy the gland, you're going to get hyperthyroidism. You're right. Why? Very good. Because when you go destroy your gland, do you already have preformed thyroid hormones? Yes, you do. So you will spill all those thyroid hormones into the blood. So the first thing that's always going to happen in most of your thyroid, most of your thyroiditis patients is going to be a hyperthyroid state, which is going to be transient. Okay. So typically, initially, what they're going to present is going to be with thyroid elevation symptoms. Okay. So much so you can actually call it Hashi toxicosis, like thyrotoxicosis, you call it Hashi toxicosis because of Hashimoto's. Okay, but initial feature is going to be a hyperthyroid state, which means what kind of symptom would you have? You'll be tachycardic, you'll be having excessive sweating, you'll have weight loss, you'll be having fatigue, right? Increased GI and motility. All your hyperthyroid symptoms are going to be present, right? But not hyperthyroid symptoms, which is very unique. Two graves, which is eyes and pretibial myxedema. You don't see that anywhere else other than graves, right? Most of the time. You can have some eye symptom, but nothing very unique like what you would see with graves. So when I say hyperthyroid, you'll have all the features except your typical eye findings and pretibial myxedema finding that you'll see with graves. So initially, you present with a hyperthyroid state. Great. 